Good morning, and welcome to Let's Stand Around and Talk, the only morning show where we answer your questions about the popular web series Red vs. Blue. He's Griff. I'm Simmons. First build. Nice. Today's question comes from Driftage Mixer, who asks, You guys obviously spend a lot of time playing Halo. Are you any good? You know, over the course of making the show, we've technically amassed well over a full decade of time played. Oh, and that's in all kinds of games. Halo, Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, the list goes on. So we can safely say we know what it takes to be a professional gamer. That's right. Dedicate. What? First things first, you want a top-of-the-line gaming chair. These puppies will run you between $200 and $4,000. Unless you want it in red and gold, that'll be an extra grand. I don't think... But that's not all! You'll also need blue light gamer glasses for clarity and a gaming headset fit for a helicopter pilot. That's not what it takes to get good at a game. Well, of course not just that. You also need a tall can of gamer fuel, the only energy drink to be consumed while sitting down and doing nothing. It's also available in a powder, and IV injection. But what about actual skill? This is America, Simmons. Skills are only good for resume fluff and world record books. What you really need to get ahead is toeless gamer socks. Don't have any? Well, thankfully, they come in all sizes down at Griff's Gamer Gear, located at the corner of 45th and Lamar. Stop advertising your stupid store on our show. Oh, you think I'm Griff from Griff's Gaming Gear? The best place to find the hottest gamer items? Like this game frame, lay and play twin mattress and quarter-inch staple gun for gamers? Nah, that's a different Griff. Wait a minute, bring the question back up. Aha! Driftage Mixer is just an anagram for I am Dexter Griff. I don't know what you're talking about, Simmons, but I wish I was getting some kind of kickbacks because they are selling like hotcakes. Also, by our, I mean their, gamer hotcakes. You promised we wouldn't do any sponsored segments unless we both agreed to it. Oh, so you could have the whole segment dedicated to your pyramid scheme, but you draw the line at gaming cookbooks? It wasn't a pyramid scheme. It was a Ponzi scheme. And we just need to scam 12 more idiots into signing up under us, and the rejuvenation helmets would basically pay for themselves. That venture is the whole reason we gotta sell all this gamer garbage. We're burning through our budget. I'm surprised we're even still on the air. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are we still on the air? Oh, hey, hey. Uh, we were just joking about all that scheme and scam stuff. Uh, yeah. Just another joke from our pro gamer joke book on sale now. That's about all we have time for. So until next time, have a great morning and an even better day.